Hey there friends, it's Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and it is time for our What is New at the Doodle Bug today. So, didn't come on live yesterday, a couple different reasons. First of all, since I had to come in late, so I apologize if anybody came yesterday at the store and we were closed. On Monday, I scheduled myself off so I could be home when the painters got there because I'm having my house painted and he started back in May and then ran out of paint and of course, course my particular paint that I picked was completely out of stock everywhere so it finally came back into stock not too long ago and then he was just kind of backed up so he's finally back at my house and I wanted to make sure we're on the same page on everything um, so I wanted to be there yesterday whenever he got there since he didn't come on Monday so anyway opened late yesterday and then I had to leave by 5 to um, to get the test so just been busy and crazy, but this is a huge order. What I'm gonna show you was all one order, so super, super big order. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. Um, it is, I've got a little bit of 49 and Market in here that's new. I've got um, not a new company for me, but one I haven't ordered from in a few years since COVID. Um, it's one that is actually imported from India. They make beautiful flowers, and I'm looking for my, my drink because you know I'm gonna cough. Um, Okay, and so they make beautiful handmade flowers. So I've got that in because my distributor picked them up, which is awesome. And then more of Vicki Butin's print shop came in. So can't wait to show you guys that. Um, today so far we have checked in this order. We've got Foundations Decor came in. So all you girls that ordered countdown calendars, yay, they are here. Not the advent from Spellbinders, don't get confused. This is the actual countdown calendars, those are in. Um, we'll have those checked completely in by tomorrow. Start giving everybody calls and texts probably tonight and tomorrow that you can come and get yours. And we worked on classes for the retreat today too. So that's exciting. So lots of stuff got done today and we're training a new girl. So um, all kinds of fun stuff going on here at the Doodle Bug. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna check it out. All right, so we're gonna start with just some reorder stuff. Sorry, you know, I've got to get a drink, otherwise I'm going to start coughing on you guys. I don't remember if I showed you guys this yesterday. So I kind of, not yesterday, the day before, I kind of rushed through stuff when I was showing you, and I don't think I showed you guys everything. So this is a stinking huge roll of washi. You can see it's all different kinds of fun little chevron prints that we got in from Spellbinders. So that was one that came in the other day. And then I know I was on the struggle bus with this box of cards, finally got it open. I was like, okay, we're gonna move on. And I didn't come back to it. So these cards, when we get them in, they're kind of like pre-printed cards. Um, hey, Miss Rebecca, nice to see ya. So, you know, you can kind of make it as little or as much that you want. So you may just use it just as is. It's just, maybe you're not a big card maker, but you wanna send cute little thank you notes or thinking of you and it's already pre-printed for you. Now, if you are a card maker or a scrapbooker and you wanna step it up a notch, you can always add your own sentiments on here, add some ribbon on here. So these boxes I think are always, first of all, they're a great value. You get 40 cards and envelopes for 16 bucks. So it's a super, super great deal. And they all kind of coordinate. So if you wanted to step it up a notch and you didn't have paper that matched this line, take one of the cards, cut it apart, and use it for coordinating pieces on other cards. So you could really have some fun with these guys. So those came in the other day, and like I said, I knew I rushed through it and didn't show you. All right, next up, we're going to look at 49 in the market. So here is a reorder. This is the 6x8 pad in the Serenity line. But coming up is new stuff. So I know I had shown you guys some teasers. They have a great new, it's not even like necessarily a line, just lots of great new embellishments that they've come out with. And they did more rubber bonds. We've seen some of those. And then they also did these film strips and they've also done tickets. So I've gotten a few colors in to start to see how they're going to go. This one here is called, this is Mariner. So Mariner and the tickets. So you've got a wide roll of tickets here that you can do all kinds of fun stuff with. Then you've got 
two smaller rolls of tickets. Now these aren't washi, they're actual little paper tickets. So, so cute. So those are in here, so that's Mariner. And then we also got in Mariner the film strips to match. Next color we got in, this one's same, it's gonna be the same type of tickets, the little paper tickets. And then this is in the color hickory. There we go. And I did not, oh, I did get hickory in the film strips too. Hey, Wesley, how are you today? Good. Did that take work out for you? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. All right. This color here, my friends, is called stone. So I've got stone in tickets and then also in film strips as well. Last color we got in was Lagoon. We also have Lagoon in tickets too. And then I got in a pewter color as well for tickets. Now, don't let me forget to show you these. Now we're gonna jump over to the Revons. Oops, I'm banging into stuff here. Revons, we got pewter. These are all gonna be the same, so are very similar. So you've got one side with all these great splotches, a little bit of print mixed into them as well. And then the back, kind of more kind of splotches, splats, some distressed stamping, got some butterflies there as well. So we've got pewter, sunbeam, sage, stone, and salsa. Now, if there's any colors that you see like, okay, well, I love that sunbeam. Why didn't she get in the tickets? Or why didn't she get it in the film strip? Let me know. There were so many colors, so many choices. I was a little overwhelmed. So I was trying to think of, you know, colors for the seasons we're going into, things like that. Um, just because like, you know, like, like you guys have a budget, I do too. And I sometimes have no idea what to buy, you know, what's gonna sell, what isn't gonna sell. So I didn't wanna go real deep on everything and have none of it move and then be hung with it. So if there are colors that you see that I didn't get in other ones, you let me know and I will get those in for you. Um, next up, the one I wanted to go back to. So these are those little magnetic cases. They are back in stock, finally. So again, these are from Artbin. Artbin is a great, great line. These are called Slimline Magnetic Boxes. And they are technically from the sewing section because they'll hold your bobbins, your scissors, your pins nice and in place in here so they don't roll around everywhere. For me, I thought they were perfect for us to hold our little dies while we're working on a project. Because, you know, those little bitty teeny tiny dies, you know, like to just fly away on your work surface. Um, you can set them on something, but you knock that and then it falls off and it falls on the floor. And the next thing you know, you no longer have, you know, hands for your snowman anymore. Or you no longer have mittens for whatever you need. So you can put those dies right into this little magnetic case and they're going to stick in there now. Um, so it was just a great little find. Um, I thought, you know, just in the sewing section that we can use as well for our crafting needs. And I've gotten a couple orders of these in, but they were all already spoken for. So now we finally got four back in stock and they are up for grabs. So we've got four of the little magnetic cases and it's called the Slimline Magnetic Box. All right. Okay, now we're gonna get into all that fun stuff you see here, which is from Little Birdie. Sadly, take another drink. Oh, I'm so over this cold. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay, so this one right here, we've got one, two, three different sizes, and then some bird, or little butterflies as well. So these are purples and pinks. Price on the box, um, 10.09. I know it's kind of hard to see there. That one's a little faded. 10.09 on the box, my friend. All right. Little handmade flowers, these are $5.39. And you've got, I don't know if it says easily how many pieces are in here. Nope, it doesn't. But you've got a lot of flowers. I think that's why I like this company too, um, because you get a lot of bang for your buck with the price of the flowers. So we've got this set here. This one is called Marina Fairy Sparkle. Same concept here, just different colors. This one here is Aqua. So Marina, I guess, is the style. And then this one is Aqua. Next up, we've got this cute 
little and these are nice and hard i mean they, they're made out of that paper that once it dries it gets really nice and hard these are called deborah those are 439 this nice big bag they're all kind of that natural color i love the natural ones because you can spray them with your sprays and color them yourselves so that's always fun you get the whole bag for a little bit over nine bucks and they're called evelyn there's 180 pieces in there so that's a lot of flowers this one here so you've got some different colored ones and you know they're not quite as cream but you've got some almost sand ones so you could color those as well if you wanted to that set is called tracy and again you get 180 pieces in that one i'm going to jump up here to this one these are little handmade butterflies again they're that white color so you can color them different colors that you want those are only 349 for the pack and that's called fluttera shabby chic these are going to be kind of the same name but just different colors then so again i mean this is this is a huge pack look at everything you get in here so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and some curly cues so that's a lot of flowers in that pack this one here is called um rosalind shabby chic they're 21 pieces is what they're counting in there i didn't count the leaves and stuff two butterflies please you've got it miss donna i'm going to put those over into a little pile for you right now got it then this one here oh this is the boho vibe so rosalind is the style and then boho is the color so this one's color was the shabby chic there we go so shabby chic is the color here boho is the color there i'm going to put these over here so we don't forget because we're going to Kind of stay in our little little birdie area next we've got some beautiful um hand dyed leaves the, the, this is called leaf there we go <laughs> so if you're looking it up online you can just type in little birdie and leaf but they're really good autumn colors let's see if it tells me how many pieces are in there nope i'm not seeing it anywhere but there's a bunch there's a bunch of pieces how about that and I've got three of those. And again, those are just $4.39 for that whole pack. So that's a great deal there. Hey, Brandy, how are you? I'm doing good. All right, next up. Now, these, okay, some of these guys are so stinking cute. So cannot wait to show you these. Um, this one here is called Merry Chris Christmas Glitter Embellishments, but Merry Reindeer. So you get six cute little reindeer. They are dimensional. They've got glitter. This one even has little rhinestones on a string, like lights, and it's antlers. I mean, they are so adorable, and they're less than two fifty. How fun is that? So these will be cute on cards. They'll be cute on tags. Um, if you do little goodie bags, or you know, everybody, you know, we make things for people around the holidays. We always put a little bit of something on there. So so cute. And I've got a bunch of things for you guys for that. So there's the reindeer next ones are the glitter snowmen look at how glittered they are you've got eight of them in there those are a little bit more because everything is glittered and look at all the layers on there so those are 439 and those are called glitter 3d santas there's that next ones we got are these beautiful cardinals so the cardinals again these are all hand put together you've got this beautiful little burlap wing on them You've got four cardinals in that one. That one is $2.89 for the, it's called, now, keep in mind, they're, it's from India, so they're calling them robins. For us, these are not robins, those are cardinals. So we got burlap robin, so if you look them up online, you're, if you type in cardinal, it won't come up. Next up, we've got these little glittered wreaths. How pretty those are, you've got three wreaths in that pack. This one here is little gnomes. How fun are these gnomes? You've got eight gnomes in the pack. Oh, hold on. I didn't price them all for $2.50. So stinking cute. So we've got the little glitter gnomes. And then we the last one kind of in this same packaging is this one here. It's got the cute little trucks. Two gnomes, two trucks, two wreaths. All right. Whew. You were jumping ahead, Ethan. You were good because you saw those trucks coming up. Good thinking. Two trucks, two gnomes, and two wreaths. Got it. So with these cute little gnomes, or where are we at? Yeah, we're on the trucks now. Here we go. 
trucks. We'll put those in Donna's pile. You've got Merry Christmas, ho, 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 season's greetings, and another little Merry Christmas. And they've got all the fun little glitter stuff in the back. How fun is that? Love it. So those are fun ones now. Wait till you see these. Oh, check out these tags. Oh my gosh. And look at the layers. It's not printed. So you've got this cute little tag. It's got one tag that's white, one that's red, and then, so, I mean, it's truly layered. Then you've got rhinestones, a cute little buckle, and then the black little band going through. Those are $3.49, and you've got 10 pieces in there. I, you know, I mean, less than 50 cents per tag. I don't know. I, I can make these. I know you guys can too. But for 50 cents, less than 50 cents, I mean, my time, my all my you know stuff whoo it's gonna take me longer than 50 cents worth of time to find my punches that layer to make those so so fun all right miss debbie i've got your two trucks and your two reindeer getting pulled right now thank you very much all right moving on so next we've got butterflies they are really pretty and printed um, it's kind of muted because they're printed on craft and you're getting a little bit of glisten because there's some clear glitter glue on them as well. So we've got the butterflies for $2.49 and hummingbirds. Now, Donna, no pressure, but I know you love hummingbirds. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I did kind of order these with you in mind. If you don't like them, that's okay. Um, but I do try, once I kind of learn what you guys like, I do try to pick up th some things here and there when I see them that I think you guys might like. So we've got hummingbirds there for our next one. Going back to some of the flowers. Okay, so I will do the two butterflies. Donna, only one hummingbird shipped so far, so we'll put you down for another one. I was supposed to get like three or four, but only one ship. So at least I've got one, one for you for now. All right, poinsettias, we've got a couple different packs of poinsettias here. This one here has nine poinsettias in it. This one here has some of those different sizes. So it's got little tiny ones, some mediums, two big ones, and then some holly. So let's call this just poinsettia, and let's call this the poinsettia like variety. Yeah, because it just calls it holly, holly and poinsettias. Well, that would work too. So holly and poinsettias and just regular poinsettias. So we've got those in. And friends, I don't know why, but it is so hard to find poinsettia flowers. There are very few companies that actually make poinsettias. Um, so I have the hardest time at Christmas finding poinsettias for you guys. All right, so that's kind of it for the Christmas with a little birdie. Then we've got two more little handmade flowers here. These are Nora. Okay, so the design is Nora. This color is Song of the Sea. So you've got the handmade flowers, you've got some twine, and you've got some greenery in there. And then this one here, again, is that shabby chic. So I guess when we're talking shabby chic, that is their shabby chic color, because that one was as well. So Nora is the style, and then shabby chic is our color on that. And again, $4.39 for all of those. So that's a great deal on those. More of the Pink Fresh stamps that matches the plaid stencil just came in, so that's good. Sorry, I'm to get a little drink. That's for the Lola's. Um, I do have more of those plaid stencils coming in. I think we have one left on the shelf, though, if you want those. Um, and then more are coming. All right, so now for Vicki Booten. So Vicki Booten, we've been getting some of her print shop stuff in, and now the embellishments have started to ship. So super excited about that. So now we actually have some stuff to go with the paper that we've got on the shelf. First one is this huge 200 pieces of die cuts in this package. So you can see just some of them on the back there. All kinds of great die cuts, and even some that are it says stickers, so some of them must even have a sticker back. That's awesome. So this is the little die cut pack. Then we got in her six by eight pad. So I'll flip through that here. And we have a lot of these prints, but not all of them open stock, but a lot of them. And the 12 by 12 that is. Then her washi pack. 
Look at all those fun washies. I love that little heart one. The stars. This one says, love this. The little scissors with the foiling. So cute. Then I did just one so far of her pads. Now with her pad, I feel how the weight of her paper. It's not a bad weight. You know, some of the pads, they're super, super thin, but they're also single-sided. So hers isn't a bad weight on her pad paper. I don't think it says the weight on here, but I think it's maybe about a 65 pound, maybe just a little bit less than that. So it's not bad. It's got some good solids in the back. And then it's gonna go into her prints. There's that heart. I love that one. And I think it repeats. Yep. So there is her paper pad. Then we also got in the little sticker book. So you can see all the fun little stickers. There's some foiling in there as well. There's the back. Check that one out. So some verbiage in there as well. Oh, I love these little guys. Have all the little word strips. I love to add those. Then some good icons here. Again, lots of foiling in them. Tabs and labels. Very fun. Ooh, and some nice long stickers in the back. Ooh, and good packaging too. Save that packaging. So that's her sticker book. And then finally, um, so I was so excited that they did this for one of the lines. So make sure you check this one out. Um, this doesn't necessarily go with the line. I mean, the colors are going to match, of course. Um, but this can be used for anything. So Vicki Booten, if you don't know, I mean, she's been in the crafting industry for years. And she's gone really into the mixed media a lot in the past four or five years. And that's kind of how she got picked up um, with, with the mixed media line. Um, and now, you know, she's doing paper and things like that, but her mixed media pads do so, so well for us because I love to get messy and I love to get inky, but I don't always want to get my stuff out to do that. So on the front here, you kind of see a sample of what it can turn into. Okay. And there, that's going to make more sense whenever I open this up. So here is one of the pages in there. So it already looks like it's got that mixed media look, like you've gone through and you've brayered, you've inked, you've sprayed with water and you've taken the color back off. And then you came through with some of your metallic paints because they're even foiled as well too. So these mixed media pads always do so well for us. And see what I mean? You can use these for all kinds of things, not just her line. So this one here, it looks like I did ink blending and then I did stamping on top and then I did heat embossing on top of that, but I didn't. I just took a piece of paper out of my pad. Here's that one we kind of saw on the front. So again, it looks like I've watercolored and then I've gone through. I love these types of pads because whether you have boys or girls, these work. They are just awesome. And I've got three of them in so far. Ooh, I, I know that one's just black or like a charcoal, but I love that. So see, it looks like I've gone on over it, like a stencil over and over. You can't even tell what the stencil is. You're not supposed to. So look how pretty those are. I'll flip through them kind of quick here. Oh, Cheryl, I just saw that you asked for that. I think Cheryl has gotten some of the older pads that we've had in before. Uh, they're just, they're awesome. And they, they don't ever last long on the shelf. And I, I keep reordering them, so no worries about that. But I was so sad when finally, um, I think I told you guys in a video, uh, you know, that I got the last one, you know, that my distributor had. And then, then, then they were gone. So, all right, so Cheryl's getting a mixed media pad. Um, so, and then Donna would like this. I'm assuming that's this pad here and the die cuts, do, 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 die cuts, and the letter thingy. I'm thinking maybe this is the letter thingy, the sticker book, I'm not for sure. So Donna, I may need help with what the letter, letter thingy is. Okay, but I've got the paper pad, this pad here, the mixed media pad. Okay, yes, you're saying yes. Perfect, putting that there. And then Becky got the last pad. I'm assuming, Becky, did you want the mixed media pad? Because that's kind of what we're on, but I know I've got like a, a lag, but I'm gonna put that to the side. So the mixed media pads are gone, but we'll get more. 
So anyone that wants a mixed media pad, just keep putting on here, mixed media pad, mixed media pad, and then we will get those ordered and they will be on the next order. And that would be great because um, I've got a couple special orders on there so I can get that ordered even sooner for that person. Okay, so we're gonna move on. And after Vicki, then Tombo, Mono. Now, I got two in, because that's just like, well, they come in. And one was somebody had already asked about, and this is it. They are out of stock like everywhere. I don't know what's going on with this glue. Hopefully they'll be back in stock again, but I checked two different distributors. So if you're getting low on your green cap Tombow, one, snag this one, and then two, let me know. That way if, you know, if they kind of, you know, trickle in, I can at least get one held for you until they get caught back up on their stock at the distributor. All right, next ones are enamel dots. These are cute little black ones. I want to tell you what I use these black ones for. So if you do any kind of little home decor and things like that, that you are making like little painted things and you have to put eyeballs on them, I loved these for eyeballs because my eyeballs are even every single time because otherwise I start out with a little eyeball and it ends up being this size because my circle's not right. So then my circle has to get a little bit bigger and then the other circle doesn't match and then they both get huge and I've got these things that look like they've got, you know, big crying eyes because they're just ginormous um, eyes. So I like to use these for my eyeballs and of course the enamel dots. This one here, just some good blue glitter. There we go. Enamel dots. Now uh, let's see, just reorder for if you still use postbound albums. I shouldn't say still using, I mean, we still have postbound albums, but if they're starting to get that, that gatored look, meaning they're getting real wide, that means you need to build up your spine. Okay, so I'm kind of doing that, that's my spine. You need to build it up so it doesn't gator anymore. See how that just makes total sense, right? Good Lord, I just talk in hand puppets all the time, I guess. <laughs> but these help to build the spine up for your postbound albums so they don't start to do that crazy bulge on you. All right, next up I've got one of my, my good customers, Miss Lucky, and she's into horses and her granddaughter is really into horses and I had no horse stickers the other day. So I told her, I promise the next time you come in, I will have some horse stickers for you. So we got this little set in here for her next time she's in, but I've got three, so there's plenty to go on the shelf as well, but at least now she has something that she can put on her granddaughter's stuff. Um, all right, diamond dots. We got in a few new diamond dots today. So we got in this Jolly Jolly Snowman. We have had him before, so if you've gotten a snowman for me, you may want to check to make sure it's not the same one. Here is your design area. So as you can see, this one is one where you're gonna do the whole thing. So it is considered to be an intermediate. Not that a beginner couldn't do it, it just means it's gonna take that beginner a little longer to do it because you're doing the, the whole design area, okay? Next one we got is this cow. So I'm gonna show you the difference here. So see how this is finished, but here is your dazzle area. So with the cow here, they're gonna have that outside already pre-printed, okay? Whereas this one, you're gonna do the whole design area. That's why this one is more like a beginner to intermediate is where the advance on or the, the um, skill level is on that one. Then butterfly, we've had the butterfly one before as well. So it is just a reorder. And this is what you're going to be dazzling. And this is what it's gonna look like finished because the canvas is printed behind it. Okay, sizes on these. So this one here, the butterfly. Let me see if I can find it. Well, it's usually right on there. There we go. Finished size is 12.6 by 12.6. So basically 12 by 12, just a little bit bigger than 12 by 12. This one, the same thing, 12 by 12. And then your snowman design area is 14 by basically 19. Okay. So those are three big size diamond dots. And then we got some of those little ones in again too, the little magnets. So this one here is the bat magnet. These um, are great. Like I've told you guys before, my godchild loves these. And uh, my cousin loves them because he will sit there at the table and, and just be quiet and be still for a while. He loves to do them and he really likes the magnets because then he can put them on the refrigerator and show them off. So we got the bat. We've got a ghost with a little broom. We've got a ghost with um, with a little pumpkin. 
and then we got in one starting for Christmas. So this is a little snowman with skates. So those are the new little magnet ones that we got in for Diamond Dots. Trimmers back in stock is our big 12 by 12 trimmer. And then also our little guillotine trimmer here. Uh, Fiskars trimmer blades back in stock. And then some fun little reorders over here. The, you know, this is like the only thing I can find for engagement, which is just crazy to me. But we've got engagement stickers here. For our destination section, Texas is back in stock, and so is Missouri. And I say this all the time, but in case this is your first uh, price on the Magnet Diamonds. Okay, so they're right around 10 or 11. And one is a little bit more. So 10.99, 10.99, 10.99. So it must be, and then this guy is 12.49. So it must have either a little bit bigger or more diamonds in it. I don't know, but I thought it was weird that they all. These came in all at the same price, but then the this one was just a little bit more. So he must be just, oh, yeah, I'm looking at sizes. It, it kind of breaks out of that 9 or 10 inch area, so or centimeter area. So that might be why that one just a little, a little bit more, a little bit bigger for the magnet. All right, so then back over here to graphic 45. We got back in stock the ivory waterfall folios back in stock the large ivory this is called so these are tags but whenever you look them up online it's going to say large ivory tag album okay it's not necessarily an album it they can they call it an album because you can put the little ring there and then turn it into a flip album but i don't want you guys thinking that you're getting like something bound together so they are loose tags but then you can make them a little flip album when you add the ring back in stock these are the shades of pink flowers that they have. How do we get those? Um, I showed you some cards the other day that we made, little samples with these. We've got another one of the stamps and dies in stock for that one. There you go. You can check out what it looks like on the back. This little guy from Doodle Bug. It's the little Doodle Pops with the cute, adorable little Santa head on there. He's dimensional. His nose is glossy. His eyes are glossy as well. Um, back in stock, this is one graphic 45 tags. You got it, Cheryl. Pulling it now. Okay. Santa Doodle Pop, you got it. Thanks, Debbie. All right. This one here is a back in stock on one of the little boy sticker books. It's just a great sticker book if you have younger little boys that you are working on in their books or making them cards or you've got a good little boy that stops by your house and he loves stickers oh, and these are full size sheets in here I'm just showing you the little back because it's got a little um, sticker on here that I cannot seem to get off hold on let me see oh, I might be able to now I'm gonna work on that while I show you the next one this next one is another new card stock I think this one is actually a a reorder but it went super quick it's called rosewood so it's a beautiful kind of burgundy red perfect for your fall cards fall leaves be perfect in this and for my um, mom's scrapping in the area this is a really good color for pike central as well too all right so i've got that sticker book open so we can check out some of the stickers and how fun they are and then they just repeat so that is the Play All Day sticker book from Echo Park. And then I think, I think we got through it all. Whew. Yes, we did. Yay. All right. I told you that was a big order today. So that took me a while to get checked in because um, I would say probably 90% of it was brand new. And so then we have to enter each one of those in the system separately. So it uh, took forever. Um, orders coming up though. So like I said, we're working on Foundations Decor. And your Christmas countdowns that you guys asked for. Um, I also got a small little lawn fawn reorder that I told you guys about a while back. 
So hopefully some of those special orders are going to be in there. And then another little honeybee order as well. So um, those are some smaller orders will get checked in. I've got another order from the distributor to get checked in as well too. And it's a nice size one. And then I've got a big one from my Canadian distributor that you guys love. But it's all new. And it is taking me. I've been working on it. Then I just have to walk away and work on an order that was a little bit easier to check in. And then I'll go back and work on it a little bit more. So I'll get that one in the next day for you guys as well too. So whoo. All right, so if you're watching me on a replay, thank you very much for joining us. Um, you can go ahead and in the comments, just let me know what you would like and we'll get it pulled for you. And once we actually get it pulled and on your tab, then you'll get a little note back from one of us that says, got it, got it, got it. That way you know that we did not miss your order. And if you don't get a got it from us, make sure you tag me or message me. So that way you be like, hey, did you see my comment? Because sometimes, the world of Facebook and I are not friends and it doesn't tell me when I have notifications. And then we'll also get this posted onto YouTube in the next day or two as well. That way you can check it out there. But until next time, everybody, I'm Hannah from The Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. You can always shop us online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. And if you are ever in South Central Indiana, stop in and see us. So if you're taking I-64 across, again, we're almost in the middle of the state and we are just, I mean, I can do it in 20 minutes, you know, maybe 22 minutes um, from the interstate just north. And it's an easy, easy jaunt up off the interstate. I promise we are, if you can look back there, we are 3,200 square feet of crafting goodness. So someone asked me the other day, she's like, well, I'm going to be driving like two hours. Are you worth it? I wanted to, I wanted to be like, ma'am, that's like asking if your kid is pretty or ugly. doesn't matter. Your kid is always pretty. They're, they're always handsome. I was like, yes, yes, I promise. I, I am worth it. So um, I wasn't, wasn't going to say no. They're kind of crappy. Don't don't come on in. Don't even waste your time. So so I had I had the giggle. But yes, we are 3,200 square feet. Um, I try to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest. Um, and, you know, and we rotate our stock pretty good. So a lot of times if you're looking for something old, I can try and get it for you, but I may not have it here because um, no toddlers in the store. If you have been here for a year, you're not allowed another birthday. No, no toddlers. Okay. So we, we try to, you know, get through our stuff pretty quick so I can get new stuff for all of you. So, all right, everybody, until next time, thank you so much. Tonight is um, another senior night, but tonight at the Gaslight. So that means that tennis is coming to the end. Um, we've got tennis this week, and then next week starts sectionals. So um, I'm excited, um, but kind of bummed. My boys only play two sports. They do tennis, and then they go straight into baseball conditioning. So I'm just like, oh, half my sports for the year are over. So I am a little bummed. Um, but thank you to everyone that checked out our senior night pictures. So um, yes, my boys are tall. I, di I didn't think I was short until my boys like grew so like overnight literally I think um, and I do think they're very handsome so by the common and handsome boys I do think so myself as well so I couldn't be more proud of them even in the moments when they don't make me quite as quite as proud I'm still so glad they're my boys so anyway tonight we're at the gaslight and that means that they get interviewed by the radio station so I cannot wait to hear you know just you know some of these boys' comments because we have 10 seniors, which is a lot for tennis, um, and then we only have two other players. So next year, I don't know if we're going to even have a tennis team, but we've got 10 seniors this year, and then they interview them, and then they, it goes, it airs, I think, tomorrow on one of the local, like WBDC or something like that. So I may, I may post that, um, and then you guys could, if you want to, you know, jump on and, and listen to it, you know, like, you know, sometime just later on Rewind or whatever, but it'll be, it'll be fun just to, to hear some of the goofy stuff they're going to say. So thank you so much, everybody. You guys have a wonderful evening. We're going to work hard to get more stuff checked in um, and then show you that tomorrow. But in the meantime, you guys got to put those orders in. So that way I have money to pay for what is here. Um, and then that way I can order new stuff as well, too. So thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye.